I hate this 10 minute time limit. For all my people out there in Georgia. Georgia. Sean. All y'all out there. And that hot Atlanta is not hot right now. What I want to tell everybody out there in Atlanta is I feel for you. Um, I do not how I, I do not how I do not know how you go from 69 degrees, 7 degrees to snowing the next day. Not a light coat of snow. I mean snow plow, school closed down snow. It was 70 degrees yesterday. Blizzard Hussein today, I don't know. Um, so I feel for all your folks out there. I've been gone a while, so you probably want to know what did I do for my 41st birthday. Actually, I turned 40. I always call myself, you know, I get those nine months back every chance I can. So I'm 41 years old now. Now that you're older, what do you do? All you do is look at the state of your life and you said life is run in 20 year increments. And the second half sucked. At first 20, hell yeah. It was I right. It was trial, tribulation, it was some drama, stress. First 20 was cool. Second 20 sucked. The second 20 years sucked. I got married that second 20. That's the best part. Got a son that second 20. That's the best part. The rest sucked. It sucks. It sucks to live in the United States of America at this point in time. It is so bad in America. The Mexicans are going back to Mexico for work. The economy is so tough, women are starting to have sex with their husbands again. The prices of batteries are going through the roof. These are jokes that I've been hearing in the last couple of days about the economy. Oh, where's the one about Obama? Obama is Bush's cousin. That was the best joke. We got our stimulus packages going to the infrastructure. We have our stimulus packages going to AIG. They need more M-O-N-E. Why? I don't know. Um, in real life, when your business goes under, the United States government says, well, that's a man who tried. They tried to get a good business. They tried. But the so-called corporations are getting the big bailout. Big bailout. And the CEOs are still taking the money. I don't know. I don't, I, oh, yeah, how did you guys like my last video? Now, my son has an idea. He wants me to produce a series of stories from my past, pretty much like the one when I was in the military. Um, I don't have the pictures. That picture was taken at the Star Trek experience in Las Vegas, which no longer exists. Um, so that was my pretty much rest in peace Star Trek experience. So I'm going to give you a couple of uh, insider stories of what happened that day. Me and my wife went to the Star Trek experience. So um, I'm a black person. I'm, you know, when I say white people, I'm not, you know, saying anything negative towards white people. But we at the Borg experience. Why do white people stand around and shit? I want to get in. I want to feel like I'm in the ship and the shit is going down because you're actually in the ship. And the shit is going, you're under attack, and the Borgs are beaming onto your shit right in front of you. And white folks are like, messing up the whole vibe. Oh, just this, this lady and her husband. It's like, we're being attacked by Borgs. Okay, you standing there, the Borgs are chasing people. We actually literally went. Like, the guy's like, move on, you gotta move along. We gotta move along. The Borgs are coming around the corner. People are like, I like seeing the Borgs and shit, but I don't wanna be like this with a Borg, you know what I mean? It's like an act, you gotta get in the story. The white folks are. You can tell they wasn't Trekkies, 
They didn't know nothing. They did. I'm like, lady, move! Shit, the Borg is coming! What the fuck wrong with you, the Borg? Nigga! Move! She finally got on. We get a little space capsule. That's something. These people messed up my Borg experience, so me and the wife had to do it again. And it was fun with another group of people. I mean, these just these just two older white folks are just not feeling it. The Borg lady runs! You know. I mean, it was just not cool. But on um, the second time we went through there, it was like it was just real exciting and scary because everybody's like, oh shit, we gotta move! We gotta move! Borg! Borg! And, you know, it was fun. It was fun the second time. Like, you know, but um, you know, older people are not into that stuff, so I guess I'm one of those older people now. So I guess in the future, when everybody goes to SpongeBob land and shit, it's Patrick and SpongeBob. I'll be like, they'll be like, come on, man, move, move. It's Patrick and SpongeBob going crazy and chasing us. Come on, man. I'll be like, when the hell I come to Sponge World or something? You know. But other than that, man, life itself is very strange and wonderful. Um, my original birthday video was very simple. Took the video camera out and I videotaped the sky on my birthday. And these words came over me like, you know, this is it. This point in time, this it's my birthday. I'm looking up at the heavens and shit, and it's like the clouds just broke open and the sun was coming through, and that shit was perfect. I'm holding the video camera like this, you know, just trying to film the clouds and stuff. Even though the camera weighs like two pounds, your arm like, well, less than a pound, but your arm's like this after a while, that shit is heavy. Just, you know, I mean, it was like, I was, took video for like 25 minutes looking at the sky. And, some dude gets on his phone because there was a couple people here. Yeah, man, he's talking all loud, you know, to his friends. I'm like, damn, dude, doing YouTube here, man. It's like this is like my non-paying job. I'm doing my non-paying job here. And the guys, you know, but I'm like, you know what? This guy showed up on my birthday to smoke cigar with me, and we smoke cigars and drink cold beers and. So I just continued to film and I smiled. And I was thinking, where does the next 20 years hold for me? I'll be 61 years old. What will I be at 61? Who will I be at 61? Will I make it to 61? Will I survive the FEMA camps? How am I going to survive the FEMA camps? How are you going to survive the FEMA camps? Will we make it to see me 61? Will the jobs come back? Will the fun come back? Will the love come back in America? When I'm 61? Only time will tell. I got my goals set for YouTube. But does YouTube have goals set for me? How long can I continue to do these videos for free? My family has paid tremendously for me to sit in front of this camera. And as time always ticks, I might not always be here. I might not always be alive. I might not always be going bald. I might not always be in good health. I might not always be here. So while I am here, enjoy me. Because I've surely enjoyed you. And thank you for being a part of my life over the last year. And I appreciate each and every one of my viewers and my fans, and my people, and my family out here on YouTube. If you get any knowledge from this, pass it.